it's Case, and I'm here outside my house again. You guys may all know the introduction to my decor tours always starts outdoors, and today I am bringing to you my Christmas decor tour. I'm super duper excited for Christmas. I've had my house decorated for like over a month. I started putting decorations up November 1st, got all that fall stuff put away, put out all the Christmas decorations, or started to anyways, and I've just been fiddling with things and moving things around ever since. So without further ado, I'm going to begin showing you what decorations Brendan and I put outside. He just put the Christmas lights up today and I just noticed that a little bit of the strand is out on this end, but it's daylight so it's kind of hard to see anyway. <laughs> but we just have lights strung about the front of the house, just on this area. And then I put this Christmas tree up. This was my grandma's Christmas tree and it's just like a pre-lit pretty multicolored Christmas tree and then we have these candy canes we're gonna put out and possibly get more lights for the bushes. I just wanted to start this off because I'm so excited for Christmas and it might snow any day so I'm like let me film this real quick. So Brendan went ahead and put the little candy canes out and I'm so happy I love them so much. Yee! The outside is still a work in progress, but the inside is pretty complete and I'm ready to show you what we have going on inside. Coming up to the door, you can see my reflection. Hello, hi. I have my Santa Merry Christmas wreath on my door. My mom got this or gave this to me a while back when I lived in my apartment to decorate it with and I love it. It just welcomes. Welcome to Casey's Christmas land. <laughs> and then, Walking inside here, I have my little basket full of all of my winter gloves and hats. I just wanted something that I could throw by the door, keep out of the door, to put all of my winter apparel in so that I could grab it and it'd all be in one spot. I got the basket at Michael's. And then I have this Santa Claus sign. I think I got this at Rite Aid a few years ago and it just says welcome, Merry Christmas and Winter Greenings and every year I forgot to take this down but I like to put him right there because I think that's a good spot for him. And then up there I have my little joy sign. I got that at Target a couple years ago for my apartment and it's just sparkly and cute and I just thought I'd toss it up there. And then over here I have these all throughout the house on doorknobs and stuff. <laughs> Molly and I made these snowflakes a couple years back and there they are. There were just two nails there so I just stuck those there because I was like hey. And then here we are walking into the kitchen. There's another one of those snowflakes on the door of our closet, our pantry closet. And then over here I have these shelves filled with some of my Christmas decorations. Um, on the top shelf I have two pine cones and one of those little dollar tins from the Target dollar section. And then moving down, we have um, the Santa candle. I don't know if that means something that, I don't know, it's a candle that my grandma had. I just put it there with these two little candle holders, but I stuck those snowflakes in there again. And then moving down here, I have another little glittery pine cone. My Salvation Army bell from when I um, volunteered to raise money. And then this little reindeer noel sign that I got at the Christmas tree shop and I absolutely love that. That's my favorite part of this area. And then right here I have my little Christmas countdown that I got at the Target dollar section a couple years ago. It's just like a chalkboard Christmas countdown and it's perfect and I love it. Moving over to my stove area I have my, it's kind of hard to see, here we go, these dual towels that I got also at the Target dollar spot for three dollars and it's just a little reindeer plaid reindeer and then this nice red and white checkered pattern and I love it it's so festive <laughs> and then coming over this way I have a U log on my iPad so it's very festive and over here I have a little hot cocoa station I just have another one of those little tins from the dollar section at Target with hot cocoa and little um, peppermints and then sprinkles and my Keurig for a hot cocoa station. I love it so much. Burning here, um, Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works. This is a phenomenal candle. It's burning so nicely and I just love it so much. And then on the, the fridge, I don't really have too much going on here, but I cracked out my 
ho 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 Santa dollar pad magnet pad from the dollar section at Target and then I just use these ads from Bath and Body Works to kind of bring some Christmas joy to the refrigerator and also this picture of me Molly and Devin from Disney World last year have that there and then moving over to the butcher block area um, up top I just have some of my Christmas lights strung up there and then here I wrapped a picture of my great grandmother and my great aunt that you saw probably in the fall decor tour. Um, I love them to death. I just thought that that frame would look really cute all wrapped up. I have this little Christmas tree that one of my friends gave me a couple years ago. And this little, this is actually, it like lights up and changes colors. My mom gave me that. It's like Santa and a snowman. And then here I just have two of these Beanie Baby Christmas ornaments hung up on here with more of those glittery popsicle stick snowflakes. And then I have burning in my pod warmer, um, Jolly from Gold Canyon, and it is my favorite scent from Gold Canyon. I love it oh so, so, so much. And then right here I just have some <laughs> sticks and pine cones for a DIY that I'm going to do, but they just looked really pretty, so I just left them there. And then in this candy cane little like tray I have all of my pods and my lighters for my candles candy to light all the candles in my house and then moving around here I just have more Christmas lights and I wrapped another one of my pictures in this elf on the shelf wrapping paper that I love so much I got that at Target last year and then over here I had this picture frame with no picture in it so I printed out this adorable reindeer like sweater print from Pinterest and I love it so much I just stuck it in that frame and I'm in love and then we have this candle holder that was my grandma's and I just stuck some pine cones around it and I just think that this little corner looks so cozy and cute and I love that candle holder in those pine cones it just looks so rustic and perfect and I love it so much so then scanning over this way you get a nice overview of my garland which I fixed today I made it all nice and the way I wanted it and on the garland it both ends I have these little um, cardinal pine cone clips there's one there and there's one over there and I got those at the Dollar Tree and they're so cute they just clipped right on my garland and I'm so happy to have them and then this is a piece that I got at Michael's on Thanksgiving night <laughs> my mom got it for me and I just love it I love anything that's like sticks and rustic and plaid and bows and pine cones and I just think it's so pretty and it it just looks perfect right there let me like get a like nice overview it just looks perfect and I love it so then we have my little center counter here that I have been fiddling with a lot I had to move things around but here I just have this DIY that Molly and I did, the Shadow Box DIY. I'll leave a link to our DIY video down below so you can go check out how we made this. And then I have this beautiful um, candle holder from Bath and Body Works with the little reindeer on it and sparkly Christmas trees. And in there I have Burning Winter from Bath and Body Works. I just love this candle holder. I'm obsessed with it. And then this is a little teeny tiny Night Before Christmas book. I got this on Amazon. I thought it was going to be much larger, but since it was so tiny, I just stuck it right there and I think it looks cute. And then here I have a gingerbread um, house <laughs> pod warmer kind of thing. And in there I have like a Christmas cookie scent burning. And I just think it's so cute. My mom got that at Walmart a couple years ago and she gave it to me. And I just, it's perfect right there. I love it. And then this... <laughs> This candle holder is from Walmart and it's just this gorgeous mirrored reindeer in this like mercury glass um, candle holder and it's just huge and it fits the large um, Gold Canyon candles in there perfectly and in there I have Burning Under the Tree by Gold Canyon and it's just, I'm obsessed with this. This is just everything. I love it so much. And then this is another piece that I'm obsessed with. I got this at the Christmas shops at the fairgrounds this year my mom actually got it for me and it's just this it's kind of hard to tell but it's lit up and it's a little tree a little flocked like the same like material as this like that wicker material tree and it's just gorgeous and it actually has a timer so it's like perfect it just will shut off when it's you know the batteries are 
I just love it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this whole area. I'm so glad and so happy with the way it turned out. I just, I love it so much. And then under here I have a Christmas card garland going. And I haven't received any Christmas cards yet this year, so I just have two from last year. This little one that my grandpa gave me. A little Santa and a puppy, it's so cute. And then this was part of my scrapbooking. I just thought it looked like a Christmas card and I love it. So I stuck it on there. And then this one that my that Mary Pat made me last year. It's so cute, it's a handmade card, so I had to display it. This little area is also really adorable. This is actually a framed puzzle that my grandma did. It's kind of hard to see with the glare from the lights, but it's just Santa in his workshop. And <laughs> it was in the basement and I brought it up because I remember when my grandma did this puzzle and it just reminds me of her and I love it. And then this little wooden sign is from the Dollar Tree. It just says Merry Christmas and it has a little reindeer on it. And I love it. It looks perfect right there. The glitter, I love just everything about it. And then moving down, we have my winter bucket list, and this is also where I put my fall bucket list. I just like this spot for, for it, and it's just so fun. It's one of my favorite decorations that I have. And then in this basket, I just have some fun, like, pine-scented potpourri that I got at the Christmas shops again, and it is so pretty. It's like little pumpkins and pine cones, and oh, it smells so amazing, and I just like to keep that there. Oh, it's, it's an awesome scent. I love it. My mom got that for me as well. And then this little white birch, I think, or silver birch candle I've had for a couple of years. But since it's just so nicely packaged with a little bow on it, I haven't burned it because I just like it as a decoration. And then this little buffet that, my, that was my grandma's, obviously, is right here. And on it, I just have this... Um, reindeer picture frame. It's another one of the DIYs that Molly and I did and I just thought that she looked perfect there and I had to just place her there. It was like the perfect spot. And on this little tray I have these little patriotic Santa. It's like a patriotic Santa candle holder and I love it so much. It's another item that my mom gave me. And then I have two gold canyon candles in our outlet right there but I love this little Santa centerpiece and I just think it's really cute. And the rest of the stuff was all my grandma's decor that I just kept there because I thought it looked good and nice and complete. And then over here it's kind of hard to see but I have this winter welcome little door hang thing that was my mom's that she gave me and I just stick it there every year. I think it looks cute. Another little snowflake on the door handle. And then moving into the living room more, on this little table, I found this little house. It was my grandma's. Um, obsessed with it. It's like a little fiber optic house. And Brendan found it in the garage a couple weeks ago. And I'm like, oh my God, I remember this. And I put it out. My mom has one too. And I just, I love it. I love it so much. And then right here, I have Kringle and Spice by Gold Canyon Burning on my little wooden plaque from Michael's in a little pine cone and I just think that looks festive. I might get some um, fake snow to put on top of here but for right now that's what I am working with. And then there's my couch and then on this couch I just have my little reindeer and Santa and he's from the Polar Express and he talks. The magic of Christmas <laughs> lies in your heart. I love him and this is Comet and Prancer and I used to have Blitzen but I don't know where she went and then I have my little snowman Santa sitting there and I just I like decorating with my old stuffed animals it's so fun and I think they look cute up there and cozy and I just love it and then moving on to this area it's kind of hard to see with the glare from the Sun I have another wrapped um, <laughs> picture frame I got that also at Target last Christmas and then here is just a picture frame that my grandma had one of our Christmas pictures in. But I printed this off of Pinterest and it says Jesus is the reason for the season. And I just think it looks so festive and I love it so much and I love that saying so much. And then I have Alpine Cheer burning right here. I love Alpine Cheer. It smells like a Christmas tree and oh, I love it. I love it. And then moving on to this little side table, I just have this little... Christmas gift box <laughs> and this little um, picture that I took a couple years ago of my hot cocoa. I think that's just kind of cute. Something to put on the table. 
And then over here we have my little Santa. Well, this was my grandma's and it just reminds me of my childhood. I found him in the basement and I'm like, I'm bringing him up, putting him in the corner by the tree and calling it a day. He used to like rock back and forth and it's like battery operated, but I didn't put any batteries in him. I'm just, I just have him sitting there. <laughs> he gets cute. And then over here, this is my grandma's CD player slash radio and I am obsessed with it. We keep it out here all year round, but at Christmas time, I had the magic touch, old fashioned -y, rustic touch, and I love it so much. And on top of it, I have the Polar Express, which is such an old copy. I have a newer copy somewhere, but I can't find it. It was the first Polar Express book that I had, and I got it in like second grade. <laughs> And there it is, my favorite book, my favorite Christmas story. We have my cozy Christmas corner, and obviously we have my tree. So I'll just give you like a quick overview of my tree, just a little panorama. All these ornaments are just like my childhood ornaments and ornaments that I like love and have collected over the years. And this tree and the lights and the tree skirt are all from Target, of course, and the star. So yeah, that's just a little quick overview of my tree. And then moving over to my fireplace. Ugh, it's too much, it's really too much. Down here I have my little plaid reindeer. That's little Ralph. He goes right there every year, that is his spot. I got him last year at Target and I love him dearly. They had reindeer similar to him at Target that you might still be able to find it. He's about $15 and he's totally worth it. He's so festive and cute. Okay guys, yeah, sorry for the sudden change in quality. My Canon camera died, so I'm using my Nikon DSLR, so it might be a little more high def from now, now on. But continuing with my fireplace, I have these Mickey ornaments that I got in Disney World last year. That one's mini. Um, I love it so much. I'm gonna show you. This print is like the home for the holidays print, I think it's called, and I'm obsessed with it. And on the back, it's plaid. <laughs> and I had to get them, but I keep that one facing forward. And then my mini, I keep her on the plaid side. And I think the back, yes, polka dots with a plaid bow. It's so cute. And I just obsessed with them. I have my fireplace on, nice and, nice and cozy. And then I have mine and Brendan's stockings hung. Those again are from Target. I got a K for Casey, that's me, and a B for Brendan, my boyfriend. Um, and those again are from Target, and I, they still make them. I got them a couple years ago, and they still continue to make them. And then hanging with our stockings, I just have I just have Polar Express tickets and bells from previous Polar Express trips that I went on. It's really fun. And then our stocking holders are these little reindeer and those again you can see in my um, dollar spot haul those are from Target they were three dollars and I am obsessed with them they like completed my Christmas decor this year and then here I have burning in this like cable knit Lumi um, I think this one is cinnamon pine cones or no this is Jolly <clears throat> from Gold Canyon this is cinnamon pine cones from Gold Canyon. How cute is this candle? It completes me. It's a reindeer head on like a wooden background. I love it so much. And then I have my two little reindeer, which you probably saw in my candle haul. There's that little one and that little one, and they're both like Rudolph. And you can see this really good here. They're in these little, <clears throat> inside them are these little wraps. And inside the wraps, they're little reindeer wraps with the candle jolly which is my favorite gold canyon scent inside them and that's what those are and then the center candle piece i also got from gold canyon a couple years ago and inside oop, that one the wax spilled a little bit underneath these little tea lights i have some of that potpourri that i showed you that like christmasy potpourri underneath that to bring some festiveness to it and then I just have like light garland shown about the top of the mantle. And then back here I printed a Christmas picture out. Uh, we actually just took these pictures and my mom's probably gonna use them as our Christmas picture, our Christmas picture this year. So I just printed out an eight by 10 and put it in that frame. And then here's the pine cone tree that Molly and I DIY'd. 
and another one of the reindeer frames that Molly and I DIY'd that I love so much. And then there's a picture of Molly and Santa from a while ago. And then this canvas that I got at the holiday shops. It says Winter Blessings and it's sparkly with little ice skates and then the lantern. That's actually lit up right now. It's probably kind of hard to tell but it's like a flickering lantern and I am in love with this. I've been wanting one of these like light canvases for a while. My mom has a few and she has been collecting them and I'm obsessed with this one. When I saw it at the holiday shops I had to get it so my mom grabbed it for me as an early Christmas gift. And then I just put this chair over in this corner. I love the cranberry blanket that's on it. My, my grandma, I love it. And then I just put my little reindeer blanket on it from a couple years ago. It has reindeers on it and little Christmas trees and I just think it looks so cozy and festive. And then up here on the wall I just have this Tis the Season to be Jolly um, sign that's from the Dollar Tree. I love it. It's like my favorite little sign that I have. And then moving into my bedroom, I am pretty proud of how this all came out. Here's an overview of my dresser area, which is like the background for a lot of my videos. On the dresser, I've just stacked some of the Christmas movies I have on DVD, along with this little postcard joy that I have, and this little tin also from the dollar, the Target dollar section. And then my baby, it's cold outside, Gold Canyon candle. It looks perfect there. And then in this jar, I just have some glittery pine cones. I put those in there every year. And then I spray painted some twigs white with some white spray paint and I strung the rest of my twinkle lights on the top of it. And I just think that that looks so Charlie Brown Christmas and I, and I love it so much. <laughs> And then my, and then moving over, I have the Yule Log on my TV, and I just think that looks so festive and fun. And then I have this DIY that Molly and I did, this twig candle holder. Um, it's so festive. I, I, I'm in love with it. I'll probably keep that out all winter. And then I have my favorite Bath and Body Works candle of the season, and it's winter candy apple and it smells phenomenal in here right now you have no idea and on the little wood plaque again this is from michael's i have another one of the reindeer wraps from gold canyon with jolly burning inside of it and then a merry christmas plaque that's from the the christmas tree shop i have my picture twinkle light garland that me and molly also diy'd in our holiday video with some of my favorite Christmas pictures on it and those little clothes pins are from the dollar section at Target along with the garland itself. So there's that. And then I have my Marian Bright plaque that I DIY'd on my own. I didn't film it and <clears throat> you can get these wooden plaques at Michael's and then I just used chalk paint to paint over it and wrote Marian Bright on it with chalk. It doesn't look the neatest but I like it. And then this little frame is from the Dollar Tree and I just stuck a Christmas card out of the um, Target dollar section into it and I love it. And then I got this also in the Target dollar section. It was $3 and it just says Merry Christmas. And then I have another one of those DIY reindeer frames. So that's my dresser area. And then moving over here I just have some candy canes and then all my favorite winter scents chilling here not anything too fancy and then I have on my side table over here this jewelry dish from Disney World that I had to have it's again in that beautiful print I'm obsessed with it I just have all my earrings in, he in here and it's my favorite thing ever and then I have another little ho 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 tin from the dollar section at Target with mint Hershey kisses in it those are delicious and then this candy cane picture that I took it was from my Instagram a couple years ago and this little mini and I think she needs new batteries but she like plays the piano and it's cute she sings Christmas music it's kind of hard to tell because it's so sunny outside I have my Christmas lights some just some couple strands of Christmas lights to make it all festive and twinkly in here. I have them over my windows and then over to my bookshelf. On uh, my bookshelf I just brought out my Christmas mini ears and then and then my little mini 
Santa, Mrs. Santa. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me if you really enjoy these decor tours. I love doing them. I love keeping a record of how I decorate every year and for each season. And if you want to see more of these videos for like festive occasions and different decorating situations to come, let me know down below. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. And I will see you all on another time. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Festive winter fun things. Uh. Hey. Are we fogged up? Hold on one second. Brendan. Brendan. <coughs> <coughs> Can you just wait a second? This is for me last year and I love it so much. And I just put it on. And I'm not going to take it off until after Christmas. <laughs>